attorney's office? Uh, yes. Uh, my name's Bob Brewer, and I'm recording this call. I'm just, yes, I'm wondering if somebody can answer a simple Constitution question for me. And I've called in the past, and I haven't gotten a response. And that is, you know, my Senator Cruz sent, me, sent an email explaining why he voted for emergency powers. And for the life of me, I can't understand why Article 4, Section 4, do, isn't uh, doesn't prevail and why nobody is mentioning that. Do you? Can you tell me why? Um, well, sir, Article One. Um, no, Article the Constitution. No, Article Article Four. No, I I, I recognize yeah. sir, what you you're saying, and I, I recognize okay. what Article Four does say regarding executive powers. Yep. Right, but Article One of the Constitution, Section Nine, says very clearly: No money shall be drawn from the Treasury, but in consequence of appropriations made by law by the Congress. Okay, but this is a matter of defense, right? Um. Even if, sir, it's an appropriation of funds. So before we can engage anybody, we have to get an appropriation? Absolutely, sir. The, the, the powers of the purse lie exclusively with the Congress under the Constitution. And there, there we're, okay, are decades so, of Supreme Court decisions supporting that determination, sir. So if, if somebody throws a nuclear bomb onto D.C., we have to get in appropriations before we can respond? We well, sir, um, that's why we have defense appropriations and an active military. Um, but I would also point you to the language of Article 4, Section 4, which says, right, and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. And so it is the role of the legislature to appropriate funds in national defense, to coordinate the national defense, um, and the, the president is the, uh, the commander in chief of the military, right? And so, as Congress is currently sitting, Congress has been convened. It is the prerogative of the Congress okay. um, to make those determinations. Okay. So, and I really appreciate your uh, interaction with me, but so the reason 13 states united was for protection against invasion. So that is, that's the whole reason we wrote the Constitution. And okay, so section three of the 14th Amendment, and I understand that still pertains, and it says anybody that uh, subverts the Constitution or aids a, and abets the enemy, which I think we're doing that by $153 billion a year, uh, is is not qualified to hold office. It says um, senator or rep legislator, representative. Does that not pertain to this by them ignoring it? Um, well, sir, um, not specifically because the powers are given to the Congress uh, under the Republican form of government, which we have. Um, and so even if the Congress neglects to do um, one of these roles, um, it it lies within their power and the people's representative therein. And the people have um, the ability to recall congressmen. Um, the people have the ability to, to vote in elections most frequently for representatives of the Congress. Um, and that, that's where that power lies. So, uh, so ignoring the Constitution is not insurrection or rebellion? Well, sir, they, they all swear oaths to uphold and defend the Constitution. Um, I know Senator Lee is doing all that he can uh, <laughs> to fulfill that oath, which is why he had to vote against the, the National Emergency Declaration today. And I appreciate uh, that very much, and that's one of the reasons I love calling you guys. Uh, you know, I just it just seems like we wrote the Constitution for a specific purpose. That purpose is guaranteed, and we are not abiding by that contract. If you wrote a contract, if you had a fire at your house and and they don't they don't come to put it out or pay for it, I mean, would you continue to pay that in, that contract? It's it's just and I'm getting excited and I'm sorry, but uh, I'm and, and that's probably not that's probably the not the best. Of yourself and the, the, the people of the United States, the Senator Lee does recognize that it's an important priority to yeah. to secure our border um, and and to defend this nation, and he's. He will continue to work um, in every way that he can to bring those about. Um, he just will not sacrifice constitutional principles. Uh, okay. and, and stepping away from the actual text of the document, um, Senator Lee recognizes that the, the Democrats often mean what